In these questions, they say that y is equal to relevant to these functions. Find the approximate change in y when x increases from 2 to 2.01. So since this is dealing with a small change, we know we're going to have the equation of the delta y over delta x can be found by using the approximation from the differentiations, which is the dy over dx. So in order to find the dy over dx, what we're going to do, we're just going to take the derivative of this one. So the dy over dx is equivalent to the... So we take the 14 out first. 14 times the derivative of the rest of the equations, which is 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 to the power of 1 over 2. So again, we have the dy over dx is equivalent to 14 times the derivative of we bring the root up it become the 6x cubed plus 1 power of negative 1 over 2 then we start the dy over dx only we start to do it now is 14 then we bring the negative 1 over 2 down become times negative 1 over 2 times if the itself reduced by 1 which is going to be negative 3 over 2. Then we're going to time with the inner function. Don't forget, the inner function, we're going to take the derivative of it also. So the derivative of the inner function is going to be 18x squared. So once we have this everything, we're going to time with the 14. So we're going to take a simplified version of it. So it's the dy over dx for this case, is going to be the 14 times negative 1 over 2 of 6x cubed plus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 times 18x squared. But they say that x is equivalent to 2. So we're going to put in the 2 so it's easier for us to simplify this everything. So we have 14 times negative 1 over 2 of 6x cubed. So 2 cubed is add, add times 6 is 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. Power of 3 over 2 times 18 of 2 squared, which is 4. So we're going to simplify a little bit again. So we have dy over dx is equivalent to 14 times negative 1 over so square root of 49 to the power of 3 over 2 is 3 4 3 so we have 3 4 3 here then times with 72 so we can set the dy over dx we can compute by using the calculators so if we bring out the calculators and just punch in the value we have 14 times negative 1 divided by 2 divided by 3, 4, 3. And then we're going to times 72. So it's why we have negative 1.469. So we can say that it's going to be negative 1.469. Then we find our dy over dx. We're going to have a few more information. We have the x of the original is eventually 2 x of our new one is going to be 2.05 delta x with the new one minus the ori is a positive 0 0.05 do we have our y ori so we're going to try to find out about ourselves y ori is going to be 14 over how we find the y ori is we substitute our x ori into the equations so we have the square root of 6 2 cubed is eventually at plus 1. So the y ori is going to be 14 over 7. So y ori is 2. So we have all the information. We can now go back to these sections to finish it up. So in order to find the, D, the delta y, which is the one that we are curious, we are going to take the delta x go to the right hand side. So where is our dy over dx first? 
is just negative 1.469. So negative 1.469 times with the delta x. Our delta x is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 positive. And this is going to be our delta y. So we can say that our delta y is equivalent to, let's take the calculator out to find out what is the answer. So we're going to have negative 1.469 times the 0 0.05 is how we get negative 0 0.0735. And that will be our answer for A. So we go for B now. They say that find the approximate value of y when x is equal to 2.05. So now they want to find the value of new y. So how to get the new y? So y of the new one is just equivalent to the v y of the original plus a small change of y. So our new y is equivalent to the original, which is 2, plus a small change, which is negative 0 0.0735. So the new y, we can just use in calculator to find out. So let's take out the calculator with one more time again. So it's going to be 2 minus 0 0.0735, so which is equivalent to 1.927. And that will be the final answer. Given y is equivalent to 1 over square root x, Find the approximate percentage change in y when x changes from 4 by 2%. So since they say that we want to find the approximate change, we can use the differentiation as our approximation tools. So they say the change in y. So we understood it's the delta y over delta x. And we're going to use differentiation as our approximation tools dy over dx. So we're going to gather in the information from the questions. They said x is changes from 4 by 2%. So we know our original x is going to be 4. And the changes of x is going to be delta x, which is 2% of 4. So 2% of 4 is 2 over 100 times 4. So this is why we have 0 0.08 What else that we can get? Can we find our y original? Huh, I think we can. not So the y original is just 1 over square root of original x, which is 4. Square root of 4 is 2, is why we have 1 over 2. So what else that we can find? Hmm, since we said that approximations by using the differentiations, so we are finding a dy over dx. So dy over dx of this one is just going to be negative 1 over 2 x to the power of 3 over 2. So if you don't know how to do it, you can check with my video. But now I will tell you in details by the slower way, which is y is equal to, if I bring up the square root of x, become y equal to x power of negative 1 over 2 dy over dx is going to be negative 1 over 2x is served minus by 1. Negative half minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. But we know negative means that you are located at the one at the bottom. So this way we have 1 over 2x power of 3 over 2. But if you want to learn the faster way, you can check my video. In the previous video, we have learned how to differentiate it even faster. So after we've done this one, divide of dx, I think we have gathered enough information. Let us proceed to find our delta y. So delta y is equivalent to, what's our dy over dx? Negative 1 over 2x to the power of 3 over 2. Then we move the delta x, go over there, become times. So this is why we have times delta x, which is 0 0.08 for this case. Then we can say that our delta y is equivalent to negative 1 over 2 
and our x, this x is going to be our original x, which is 4. 4 to the power of 3 over 2 times by 0 0.08. Then now, you can just take out your calculator and compute this value. You will have negative 0 0.005 as shown in the calculators. Is this going to be our answer? No, because they asked us to find in percentage. So in order to find the percentage, it's quite easy, just like the primary school. Whatever the, you are concerned, divided by the original times 100%. We are concerned in the change in y, which is negative 0 0.005. The original y is just 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. So if you plug into your calculators, you will have negative 1%. And that is the answer for these questions. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.